Hello and welcome back to Life Hack Gaming Plays Neverwinter Nights Hordes of the Iron Dark Enhanced Edition. I'm your host Lorfan. In today's Neverwinter Nights Hordes of the Iron Dark Enhanced Edition video, we're going into the Under Mountain. That is correct, the Fable Under Mountain, and we're gonna tackle the first level, the central part. As always, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more Neverwinter Nights videos like this. And do not forget to hit that notification bell so be updated and more. Last video, we started off this expansion. This time, we're going into it some more. So let's go ahead and go down into the well. You, you're not a fairy. No, no, no. But you don't work for the ore. No, no, no. Grav has never seen you before. And remember, maybe, maybe you don't work for anyone. Maybe, maybe, yes, no. So let me uh, go ahead and explain what's uh, going on. Yeah, choice of killing the goblin or not. Well, I decided to set him up. Anyways, Durnan will have a servant from now on, which is really good. So when you get close by, there'll be a skeleton. It'll require plus three weapons. It'll take a lot more time if you have a uh, less than a plus three. So I'm going to go ahead and take it out right now. Ha! A most palpable touch. That is your very first taste of combat in the Under Mountain, so that means things will get very dangerous. Uh, those skeletons will require a plus three weapons, so if you find it, go ahead and definitely use it. If you already went to that one special shop that sells plus three weapons, congratulations. You'll be able to defeat it quicker. It took me a little bit due to the fact, number one, it was undead. I couldn't do any critical hits or sneak attacks, and number uh, two, I had a plus two weapon. So, I'm going to explain what's going on next. The original Campanian characters will be down there. Unfortunately, something bad will happen. That's why I pull out the Rod of Resurrection. This area is full of traps. You can either avoid them or, uh, like in my case, go ahead and steal them. And I see someone dead. Let's go ahead and revive them and see if we could get that person on our team. Um, Deacon sees dead people. In this case, Deacon sees Bard Lady from in. Remember her?
Is there something else? Now, I'm going to go ahead and explain this uh, right now. The four original Neverwinter Night Commandians ran into some big time trouble. After chasing that beholder, they all got ambushed and separated. Our bard friend here, well, she was the first one to uh, die. I am not going to keep her as a companion because I already have a bard, number one. And number two, I'm going after Dalen. Yeah, you see, Dalen is a barbarian. He's like in the melee class that's why i wanted someone to actually hold the line he uses a two-hand weapon but still he holds the line i could do his lin lu too she would be a good choice but i'd rather have someone that's more damage de dealing and then uh the other one is tamai i'm a thief yeah that's no ghost so i'm gonna go with daylin i'll keep sh uh, her for now since she is a body yeah that's correct everyone she's a person and yet you do need to be careful here and from time to time things are not what they are seen number one and number two there's also traps everywhere and there's also treasure everywhere too you see the master of this uh, dungeon I should say legendary dungeon is really crazy and it changes around now we're getting the Neverwinter Night edition which is good so we'll go inside this room next and go ahead and, and listen to some information on it a moment if you would Now, let me go ahead and explain about these uh, sleeping undead. Now, what happens is if you uh, interact with a certain sword and you take that sword, you'll have to uh, fight them. I'm not going to do it for this video. Maybe after I'm done with all the level 1 stuff, I'm about to solve the puzzle. Yeah, I'll uh, definitely uh, go ahead and give it a try. Or at least they have some materials for fire traps, so I set them up everywhere so they get one shiders. So, And other than that, I am going to go for the goal here is to get the levers. Yeah, you see these uh, levers? They are very important for the center of this uh, area. You see the lava that's surrounding a door. Well, it's uh, trapped by these uh, pillars, and you gotta ma match the levers with the pillars. Other than that, it's a very fun level. <laughs> Sorry, I had to laugh like that, but I am really loving this expansion. It's one of my favorites of the uh, Neverwinter Night campaigns. It's really good. And yeah, so I'm going to go for the uh, levers, and I will definitely put timestamps in the video on Mark and Doe since they are really important. Do loot what I am looting, and if you cannot use it, well, great news is you could go back to the uh, Yawning Portal and sell it. Don't panic at all. So let's uh, go uh, this way. We're going to go ahead and explore some more. We're going to go the other direction. If I spot any uh, traps or anything point of interest, I'll uh, definitely uh, point that out. And if your uh, spot is very good, you can look for uh, secret doors. 
And if not, well, you got Deacon. You should definitely keep Deacon with you. He's really good at spotting things. Extremely good. And I did was I made him a pure bard. Also, uh, Deacon talk about the weird device that's on you since the beginning of the expansion. Well, you could te teleport almost anywhere with the exception of under mountains. So don't bother using that at all. Look for rogue stones and much, much more. And I think I'm going to go ahead and take out this ogre up ahead. I'll return when it's gone. Now, the theme of level one is very simple. Ogres versus fairy people and their allies. So if you're seeing them fight against each other, you can wait for one side to kill the other or take them one out. Up to you on that. I decided I was a little bit too late, so the ogre won. I took him out. You'll see that a little bit later on in greater details. So also, I'm going to give everybody some good advice. If you have Deacon with you, he will identify your items. I decided to keep him pure barred. So this way he'll identify more items. You could be a good tank, I heard too, if you uh, put um, 10 levels in Red Dragon Disciple. And that's about it. Let me go over here in this uh, direction. Where does this go? Now, also this uh, Mad uh, Archmage. Yeah, he is seriously crazy. Sometimes you get something like this saying, there's no loop. And he leaves you a, a calling card note to uh, laugh at you. Now next up will be a very simple foe to uh, take out. I'm going to go ahead and do it. After uh, Deacon pointed some things out that I accidentally uh, clicked off since I was telling him to follow me since they were way too slow. Yeah, hook horror uh, game. Also, that chest I just uh, did was a trap. It'll teleport you around the levels. Also, avoid any portals. It'll randomly teleport you around. So, uh, do be careful. So, I'm going to do right now is try to get back to that one spot. And the next thing I'm going to do right now is there will be another uh, combat up ahead. Now, remember what I said about the ogres versus fairy themes for this uh, level? You're going to see it firsthand. Just just uh, for this part, well, it's going to be uh, one troll, some ogres versus some harpies. Let me go ahead and take care of this uh, trap. I'm going to start collecting these as much as possible since I might use them later on during the course of the Undermountain. I'm going to go ahead and take out both full foes since I feel very confident about it. I'll return when the battle is done and definitely over with.
Now, that was a fun fight. I decided to go after both sides. Now, you see this uh, chest. I am stealing its trap. Yeah, in other words, I'm adding it to my inventory. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and grab this one, too. There you go. And there is the white lever. So, let me uh, go ahead and explain about the uh, companions, too. I forgot to uh, tell you all. Now, you notice there are two of them, right? Well, in Shadows of Iron Titan, in the original uh, campaign, you're going to have one at a time. Well, Bioware at the time was very generous by adding another option to having two companions. Yep, that is correct. That is two right there. So you can pick which two you want. And I'm going to say right now, it was well worth it. It was really nice to uh, having Deacon. And in my case, a little bit later on, or I say in a few moments, uh, Dalen Red Tiger. Now my uh, Blackguard uh, playthrough, I actually had was as uh, Deacon since I uh, forced him as a slave. And, of course, I had was Tomai. Now, my paladin I uh, port from the original campaign was Lin Lu and Deacon. Now, this time, I am going to go ahead and try uh, Deacon and uh, Dalen, since he's more of a melee guy. Oh, look. Boss. It seems we have a dead barbarian on our hands now. Yes? Is there something you need? Now, let me go ahead and explain about the Hall of Mirrors. You see what happened with uh, Dalen, how he uh, died? He picked the wrong mirror. His uh, self was uh, killing him, and Dalen bought the farm. I resurrect him, and looks like some drow looted his things up in the uh, process. And that's the uh, mirror room there. You got to pick the uh, right mirror to order to get loot. Don't worry, there is one wrong mirror. I'll uh, get to that in a few moments, so I'm going to go ahead and grab the mirror. So when you interact with a mirror... You'll have a choice. Now this one you just have one obviously. Now if you want to get rid of a mirror, if it's empty, just put an item in there. Then take the back item back out. Yeah, see, I already uh, picked some gold and that's uh, gone in the mirror. You cannot uh, abuse this at all. Nope. So uh, let me go ahead and explain why I dumped the uh, bard once again. Now I'm going for the uh, trifecta. You see uh, Deacon, he's my buffer. Slash uh, spellcaster. Yeah, he'll cast spells once in a while. Uh, Dalen, he's my uh, frontline guy, and I'm a rogue, so you know what? I go behind targets that uh, Dalen's fighting, and hopefully sneak attack does the trick. If not, I have to definitely improvise. So let me uh, loot this mirror up now. This uh, loot's alright, but since I am not a bard, 
after I'm done with uh, Deacon identifying it, I'll go off screen and definitely uh, sell it. Also, uh, I am not going to deal with the uh, two very tough encounters. That might be uh, for, I should say, at least I'm done with the south and north uh, levels. And you do notice the rest system is a little bit different, so let me go ahead and explain. Resting in dungeons is dangerous, just like Baldur's Gate 1 and 2. And you have a chance of facing enemies when you're resting. When that happens, you don't get healed. You have to fight the enemies, so do be careful. Now, coming up right now will be the mirror I'm talking about. is the wrong mirror. I'm going to go ahead and take out the foe that spawns. That fight was extremely fun to do. And yeah, good thing I did not uh, have that, what do you call it, Shadows of Iron Time gear right away. Otherwise, yeah, Deacon would have definitely been chopped to pieces thanks to the uh, Boots of Speed. Still, there's no loot from your mirror self in the original uh, version of Hordes of the Under Dark. Yeah, you had a chance to get some uh, nice items that you had. That's right. So, for example... If you have a, say, studded armor plus uh, three on you, yeah, it will uh, drop that. Not in this edition, but, oh well, let's go uh, this way. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, mess with the mirror some more. Now, I've broken that one mirror that spawned my evil self, or say my evil uh, twin. Yeah, well, I'm going to have seven years of bad luck. Oh well. <laughs> Let me uh, go ahead and... Um, take care of this yeah you cannot destroy the mirrors or else you'll be, you'll be here for a long time let me go ahead and just do this instead and if they're empty like this like i said before drop an item to then uh, take it back i kind of wish it was more uh, randomized so this way i get some nice uh, random stuff like for example my uh, feet weapon but oh well let me go uh, this way yeah we're going to keep on going this uh, direction over here the next place I'm looking for is a ambush room. Now, on this uh, level, there are uh, two ambush rooms. The first one's not really one. The other one, oh yes, the classic drow ambush. Now, remember the uh, first video show you your foe with a whole bunch of drow around him? Well, you could be facing the drow. That is correct. You do need to be careful, especially some of them will use darkness, and some of them are very high, powerful spellcasters. They're not like the low ones in the uh, original uh, campaign, so j do be careful. Let me go over here and avoid everything. At this point, I'm going to try to fill out most of the uh, map, at least. Yeah, you see it. You heard the correct word, most of the uh, map. So let me uh, go uh, this direction. Yep, yeah, is uh, this way. Let me uh, check over here. Nothing else is uh, there. Okay, there's a secret uh, door. I'm going to go ahead and still use the uh, networks of uh, secret doors to get to where I do need to uh, be. That's the uh, exit to the south level. Oops, on my part on that. And yeah, I'll accidentally uh, hit that level just to show you a preview of that later on in the uh, video. So let's uh, go uh, this way. And okay, that's the uh, other room we'll uh, hit later on. That's the wrong room. Okay, there's the right room. North of this uh, room... We're going to hit there. You can see, yeah, that's going to be our first so-called ambush. It's going to be uh, consisted of uh, Grey Dwarves and Drow. The uh, Grey Dwarves, I remember right, two of them are spellcasters. One's a cleric that summons beasts, and the other one is a powerful mage. Take out the mage, take out the cleric, and then aim one else in between. So I'm going to go ahead and get into some uh, trouble. I'll be back after it's done. Ah! 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 
that was the first ambush and I had taken out all the uh, foes in this room so I might as well reap in the rewards now so let me go ahead and loot this up okay unlocking let's go ahead and do that that's good oh a long sword uh, plus three I'll definitely sell that so this way I have money uh, towards that uh feet weapon yeah the uh, one uh, shop lady yeah she sells up to a uh, plus three weapons well actually plus two and plus three which is really cool now where you could go uh, get some uh, useless items that's totally useless to uh, you. Sell a whole bunch of them and then get some items that you actually want. Let's go see what that is. Okay, leather armor uh, plus three. Yeah, you look better in leather. So let me uh, go ahead and just switch that out. And yeah, put that right there. Switch this here. Take this out. And that is uh, fine. I will do need to look for a double axe plus three though for our uh, tank. We go ahead and grab that. All right, they had a nice helmet. So let me uh, see here. Deacon, get over here and identify this. And that is okay. That is something seeing. That's nice. Let's see here. Okay, that is a uh, lore and uh, I think spot. Yeah, that's pretty decent. I'll uh, keep that on me. I'll give a uh, Dalen Red Tiger the uh, helmet. Let's see if there's any more uh, loot before I uh, go uh, back to uh, one uh, room that I avoid it. I'm going to go ahead and take a risk of uh, resting right now, so let me uh, rest up. Okay, nothing jumped me yet, so I do have to be uh, careful in between rests. I might have to do is start playing on uh, when to rest and when not to uh, rest. So I'm going to go over here in this uh, direction. I'm going to give everybody some advice right now. This uh, next room, you could do its optional objective. I'm doing it right now is just getting the loot in the uh, first room, and that's it. I might come back later on and tempt the uh, dragon, or at least attempt to uh, get the item from it. Before I do explain a bit further, I'm going to go ahead and let uh, Deacon uh, talk. Before that, we're going to go ahead and put them on guard, so let's go ahead and listen to Deacon right about now. Um, maybe we should let sleeping dragons lie, boss? You not think so? Now, you notice the dragon sleeping or you listen to Deacon, that's another uh, hint. So, let me explain on what happens if you uh, wake up the uh, dragon. It'll have a few Aurora and it's a very hard fight. Now, I have low will saves, so in other words, 9 out of 10 times, I'm going to be running and it's going to maul me to uh, death. Now, in order to wake up the dragon, you do not want to either step on traps or open the uh, door up. You could do is disable all the traps and get the uh, loot here, including ones on the ground and the treasure chest. You're uh, fine. You go for that door, which has an optional item for an uh, optional uh, task on the uh, future floors. Well, that dragon's going to wake up and go ahead and buzz you, which is not a good thing at all. So uh, do be careful. I'm showing you all right now is uh, the uh, disabling the uh, trap method. So this way you get some nice uh, loot. We got ourselves a nice uh, axe and an identifiable uh, shield, which Deacon will uh, take care of. The axe is a uh, uh, battle axe uh, plus three, so if you're specking into that, you'll uh, do fine. So let's uh, go over here. Try not to, I repeat, try not to uh, wake up the uh, dragon. That's why I said make a save. Otherwise, yeah, it's, it's going to wake up your Aurora and you're uh, dead unless you have an item or... Uh, Class that's immune to uh, fear. Let's uh, go ahead and take care of this uh, right now. All right, let's uh, do that. There you go. Let's take care of this uh, too. I'm just going to go around and do that. I might come back here after the uh, era level 1 or level 2 is uh, completely uh, done and try to face it. Or I'll just ignore it for now. Now the item you uh, get in this room is used for an evil uh, task. That might be another reason why I'm not getting the item 2 and facing the uh, dragon itself. As for the skeletons, yeah, I might uh, definitely uh, go ahead and face them when I have enough supplies and show you all the sword in a future uh, video. But for now, we're uh, done with that room. I'm going to show you all one more ambush point before showing a preview of the south, which is going to be in a uh, future video. Not the next one, but the one after uh, that. Yeah, you see, you're going to have to look for uh, levers on floors. And yeah, that's right. Not only in the center for level one, but north and uh, south. Let's uh, go this way. And I'll show you all the uh, right way to get to the drow ambush. Besides, you want some experience points and excuse to uh, kill some uh, bad guys, right? 
Well, I'm gonna show you the uh, direction. So it's this way. Just keep on going, and this drow will, uh, you know, appear and attack you. Some will uh, disappear, and then they appear again to attack you some more. So do be careful on that. So let's uh, go over here, and that should uh, do it. And as soon as I uh, get close by, I'm gonna go ahead and start the battle. I'll uh, definitely return after the battle is over and definitely done with. And here we go. <laughs> I'm gonna admit this right now, after I uh, kill these drow, I went to the wrong level. I was supposed to uh, do is usually scout out a level. And in this case, the uh, south area, as soon as you enter it, you'll be ambushed immediately upon entering it. So I will show you the combat there and take out the foes. I'll return after it's uh, definitely done. Now, that's a preview of the uh, South uh, Quadrant, or say the uh, South Wing. And that'll be in a uh, future video. I'll probably be after the North one. And much, much shorter. So I'm leveling up right now. I'm making sure it's right. Let's see here. I'm going to go ahead and level up to level 14, which is my Champion Torm. Yeah, I'm going by a strict uh, guide. I have my notes here, so let's go ahead and click that. And there you go. We got three levels of that. I'll go back to Rogue. I'll max out discipline. There you have it. Unfortunately, there is no feats at all. So I'm going to go ahead and walk towards the uh, north entrance. Let me uh, get there right now after I shuffle some inventory up. So uh, let me uh, go ahead and give a nice recap of the uh, video. Now, first of all, when we entered the uh, Undermountain, what happened was this is, uh, goblin was running for its life. I told him you could go up there. Now he works for the Yarning Portal in Durnant, which is very uh, good. We put him to work, everyone, so he has a job. After uh, that, we found the uh, bard from Neverwinter Nights 1 original campaign, revived her, then saw the infamous uh, undead uh, kings and queens room, or say undead nobility room that's asleep. And I didn't do anything in it to steal except for the blue lever. After uh, that, we saw the war between ogres and fairies, which was very fun to uh, intervene with. Then took out some drought ambush, got the white lever, saw a preview of the south wing. Now our next Neverwinter Nights uh, Enhanced Edition video, Hordes of the Underdark, we're going to go ahead in the north wing. Well everyone, this is it for my Neverwinter Nights Enhanced Edition, Hordes of the Underdark Chapter 1, Under Mountain Level 1 Center video. This is Lord Fenton signing off. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day or night. Please stay safe.
Please subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Don't forget to hit the like button and the bell on the top of your screen. If you enjoy my videos, watch the one I suggested on the upper left hand corner or YouTube suggestion of my videos on the bottom left hand corner. Thank you for watching everyone.